says, I go to Levaya for Bukharin. You have 100 people, 50 people, 70 people carrying the only 10 people. 10 people, cousins. Listen, I don't want to be remembered like this. I want my boys to be Jewish, to live Jewish. I want them to say Kaddish for me. I want, but according, amongst Ashkenazim, they used to make tzava, rule. They said to their sons, you need to learn one mesechet every year. By the time my Yoshua comes, you have to do siyum mesechet for my Yoshua. You have like this people. This is how Rabbanim were. I want my sons to learn mesechet brachot. And every year, by the year of the Yorzai, they have to finish mesechet. To give me lenu nishma. Rabotino, this is not a joke. What does a person have? Final story, I tell you. No, I don't know if you know the story. You probably know the story. When uh, Rothschild passed away. Rothschild, I think? No, Reichman. When Reich. Reichman passed away. Very wealthy person. Religious guy. When he passed away, he wrote a rule. He said to his kids, I want you to bury me with my socks. Uh, I don't know. You know this one, right? Well, I don't know. Okay. okay, he said, I want you to bury me with my socks. Okay, the day at Levaya passed away, the lawyer comes, listen, this is Tzava, you have to bury him with socks. They say, okay, bury him with socks, no problem. They went to all the rabbis, you have to put socks on him to bury him. He said, no. The halakha is, you cannot bury a person with socks. No such thing, there's no burying with socks. They went to all the rabbani, rich people, Fagati, they can pay anyone they want. Every rabbi said, Asur. They were so upset they couldn't fulfill their father's what he wanted. They were upset. Okay, they did Shiva. Seven, they came. Comes the lawyer. He brings them another letter. They open the letter and he says, You see my children? I couldn't even take a pair of socks with me in my burial grave. He knew the halakha. He said, I can't even take socks with me. How much we have to learn. All this, how, schmaus, all this, it's worthless. What do you leave over? Do I leave over children? Do I leave over school? Do I leave over next generation? Like Baruch Hashem, Malot David Chaim, has two sons that I know of. Say, to an Israel, that I know of, I said. I don't know them in Israel. Two sons that say, Bracha, Aliyah, Lilun and again, everybody does. Humble. Yeah, relax, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I conclude with this, Rabotainu. I was born this to learn this. I wish everybody had sakhau bacha. I did have to go. Thank you very much.